I feel I'm quite good at like reading energy and um I don't like to stay in a space or a place or a house or around people whose energy I don't like um and I and I I believe in it, you know I think everything energy is a very very um strong and it's you know it says a lot of things and and it really speaks to you in a very silent quiet way so of course I believe in it but buri nazar not so much um i think i've touch would have been so this is something that i do which is part of superstition i touch wood uh which is my head most times but uh but i feel sometimes mai khud nazar laga deti hu cheezon ko cheezon mein aur i feel ki matlab you know something i like in myself and i'm then wo kharab ho jayega ya phir mai kuch bol dungi kuch cheez jo hone wala hai aur wo nahi hoga you know so दोस लिटिल लिटिल थिंग्स आई थिंक और इसलिए मैं अभी कोशिश करती हूँ कि कुछ कुछ अच्छा प्रोजेक्ट होने वाला है तो मैं बात नहीं करती हूँ अगर कर लिया तो वो नहीं होगा वैसा वाला फ्रेंडशिप और वट एवर इट इज सो यू डोट टॉक अबाउट टू मच बट otherwise no not not so much in buri nazar ki koi baitha hai nazar laga raha hai waisa nahi ma'am aap batao na aap vishwas hai aisa koi totka hai aapke paas nahi nahi main to vishwas nahi karti buri nazar mein bilkul kyunki mujhe aisa lagta hai ki superstition se hamare zindagi ka bahut bada hissa raha hai as a as a child as a young person I, you know we used to have a lot of uh, things put into our head by our parents by our mothers and by our nannies and dadis and all that so those things do stay with me but i today try very hard and to logically fight it jaise main keh rahi thi ki wo main na khun mujhe bataya gaya tha ki bhai aap raat ko nahi kaatte sham hote hue na khun nahi kaatne to main nahi kaatti aaj bhi nahi kaat pati तो दो आई नो लॉजिकली पर अब मैंने उसका एक लॉजिक ढूंढ लिया है मैंने अपने दिमाग में एक लॉजिक ढूंढा है कि रात को अगर आप नाखून काटो तो कहीं गिर जाए तो वो पैर में या हाथ में या कहीं छुप सकता है तो इसलिए दिखेगा नहीं तो दिन में काटो तो आपको दिखेगा यू कैन कलेक्ट इट एंड थ्रो इट सो मैंने अपने लिए वो लॉजिक ढूंढ लिया है कि मैं इसलिए नाखून रात को नहीं काटती बट अदरवाइज द लॉजिक इन माई रियली द रीजन इज दीज काइंड ऑफ सुपरस्टिशन दैट वो पुट इन टू योर हेड तो ये तो है ही आई I मीन mean, मैं पर मैं बुरी नजर में नहीं मानती बिल्कुल भी hmm. पर मैंने बहुत सारा वो बचपन में वो बहुत मिर्ची के छौके लगे हैं मेरे पे और वो सारा oh. बहुत हुआ है तो मैं बहुत इरिटेटेड हूँ उन चीजों से मैंने अपने बच्चों पे कभी नहीं किया ना कुछ भी नहीं किया मेरे काले टिक्के या पीछे मेरे इतने oh. काले टिक्के कितने सालों तक तो वो निकला ही नहीं वो कालापन नहीं नहीं मुझे ज्यादा मेरे एक्चुअली सुप्रिया जी जो कह रही है बिल्कुल मेरे साथ भी हुआ है मेरी मम्मा बहुत मानती है इन बुरी नजर में और जरा सा छींक भी आ गई या बुखार भी चढ़ गया तो मम्मी ने बोला चुप 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 आवाज मत करना आवाज मत बोला क्यों तो मम्मी बोला आंखें बंद कर नमक ले आएंगी और कुछ दो तीन चीजें ले आएंगी और और चुप रहेंगी और चुप रहेंगी बोलेंगी आवाज मत करो इसको जाके आप किसी चार रस्ते पे कहीं पे फेंक के आओ और जहां फेंक के आओगे तुम पलट के मत देखना तो मैंने बोला ये ये सारी ये क्या चल रहा है ये तुम्हारी अलग ही फिल्म चल रही है तो ये एक्सपीरियंस जरूर हुआ है लेकिन मैं पर्सनली नहीं मानता आई एब्सोल्युटली बिलीव कि हर इंसान की अपनी एक एनर्जी होती है हर हर जगह की हर 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 वस्तु की हर चीज की अपनी एक एनर्जी होती है आप किसी जगह पे एंटर करते हैं या किसी इंसान से मिलते हैं आपको इमीडिएटली एक 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 वो वाइब समझ में आती है कि क्या ये सही है क्या ये गलत तो ऐसे कई कई बार मेरे साथ हुआ है जब मैं जब मैंने मैं किसी से मिला हूं और कुछ ही समय में दोस्त समझ में आ गया कि ना बाबा ना 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 तुम्हें इनसे तो बात दूर रहना है क्योंकि कुछ कुछ तो अजीब है कुछ अलग है 
एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी इन स्पेस विद वेर आई फील लाइक दैट तो बस मैं उसमें जरूर मानता हूँ लेकिन अगर मेरी माँ होती तो अगर किसी इंसान से मिलती और अजीब लगता तो मम्मी वहां पर भी नमक लेके बेटे थिएटर में तो आपको वॉइस प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइजेस सब करवाया गया है सो वट वॉज इट लाइक वेन यू लेंट योर वॉइस to the characters in this book and when it came to you what was that like ma'am uh main hi aise shuru karu tum shuru karo main nahi bol raha nahi 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 acha uh what i felt was again as uh, my childhood i have had a lot to do with the radio because that was only sent the mode of uh, entertainment that we had but i had never done anything with my voice alone uh mm-hmm. so this was a really new experience for me but i'm very happy that it's come back because storytelling is something which is so much a part of our culture hamari dadiyan naniyan sari mai bhi apne grandchildren ko apne bachchon ko maine bahut sari kahaniyan batayi hai bana bana ke bhi batayi hai jo already existent hai wo bhi batayi hai so it's a culture you 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 kind of um, tell uh, It, it kind of passes on from one generation to the other in our culture and i think in every culture so storytelling through the voice is a very important uh, way of communicating yes if you have a visual for me for a person like me who's a, uh, who's a more visual actor it was a great challenge because uh, i normally my face helps me in uh, emoting what i want to say तो इसलिए मुझे चेहरा ज्यादा लगा कि पर जब मैंने ये एक्सपीरियंस किया तो मुझे लगा नहीं आवाज के थ्रू भी आप बहुत सारा कम्युनिकेट कर सकते हो सिर्फ आवाज के थ्रू तो एक बहुत अच्छा बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सपीरियंस है और मुझे आई एम वेरी हैप्पी कि ऑडिबल्स ने ऐसा कुछ करके ऐसी कहानियां फिर से लाने की वॉइस के थ्रू शुरू किया है इट्स अ इट्स अ वंडरफुल मीडियम Joining, I mean, from what Ma'am actually said, that you know, you also rely on your expressions when you are emoting. You know, just not your voice, your face, actions. You know, the body as well. So, what was that like for you when being the voice of Pallavi here? Um, I actually think, of course, you know, there are thousand things that can be communicated just through your eyes. You know, without moving a single muscle in your face, even. Uh, but having said that. the voice is extremely powerful and capable of doing everything um and uh, i come from a audible uh, you know uh, household in fact my father was part of all india radio all his life he was one of the first people uh, who got fm into india and uh, you know he was a a great announcer musician lyricist singer music wow. composer for all india radio So yeah, I mean, all his life, literally. And my first ever job, a uh, paid job, if you can call it, was when I was five. I did an audio, uh, a radio uh, advertisement, like a, a radio ad, uh, and I got paid five hundred bucks. So wow. I have always been uh, doing a lot of voice work. Um, I used to do a lot of recitation, elocution, where uh, I would recite, you know, poems that were twelve, fourteen pages long, and people would come to. listen to it and i would do it professionally i was uh, you know everyone used to say i was really good at it so i have always done a lot of lot of audio work and i believe that um you know again you know should even in terms of um performance earlier we used to we used to have kobi gaan which is you know people used to just uh sing out verses and it was part of theater but sing out verses uh and not just not act you know but just constantly keep singing out verses and you know act through the verses um i i grew up listening to radio plays uh, we used to do a lot of shruti natak which is just um audio plays uh in performed live uh you know in front of an audience my father and i used to perform a lot for you know audiences so um so yeah so i come from a household where you know uh, there was a lot of uh, stress given on uh, performance through uh you know uh, an audio audible medium and uh, of course you know i'm comfortable with it 
so when audio came uh, aud- sorry audible came to me i felt like okay this is like home ground you know uh, and i I'm, and I, i really really enjoy doing it i was the voice of apple for uh, two years uh, for india and southeast asia um i did all their uh, success ads and and it's really one of the best works that i have done so i love doing just voice work because i really feel that you can do so much you know you can literally like make love to the mic you know the microphone that you have it's you don't have a camera in front of you but uh, it's the mic that's constantly uh, you know you're interacting with it's it's your camera as well as your co-actors you know of course you we had each other's voices in our years uh, and in fact funnily enough supriya ma'am and i have never met uh, you know we've only uh, we we met in different studios in in our years we literally um i think she didn't even know how i probably looked and of course we had a reading on zoom before but uh you know we were const- we were immediately made to be mother daughter and and we were in two different studios in bombay and um we had to st- you know start you know playing mother daughter but i think we had a wonderful time you know and it's such a pleasure to be doing this with her because of absolutely you know she's a terrific terrific artist but i think it it gives you a lot of scope to perform yaar uh, you know and and the fact that you're not um dependent on your body although there is a lot of body movement you know you are you're not just when you use your voice your body also moves you know if if, if it's a violent scene your body will little bit move in a, in, in in that way so uh it's it's actually quite fascinating how how this works richard what about what was it like for you you mainly lately because he's been dancing and you know he's like the well i've been yes i've been i've been dancing i've been uh, uh i've been in love with the stage for all my life ever since i was 15 i've been hosting i've been uh, the mic is a friend but i've yes. never literally like never acted my voice i've never done voice acting before yes. i have only um uh, uh, you know i've only uh, sort of done voice training with my acting coaches with my acting classes and back in my theater days because of course theater requires audio voice projections and all that but um as i experienced mere mere liye bahut hi naya tha kyunki uh, kyunki to be able to uh, to be able to lift the character to be able to uh, bring that character to life and all that you've got is that one 5 by 5 room and a mic and it's just you so it's and it's also honestly it's challenging but it's a beautiful challenge it's titillating it sort of tells you ki okay it's sort of the mic is mic is sort of looking at you and telling you really now you you think you're an actor what else can you do with me come on show me show me what you got so so i think that that exchange was so beautiful and i i really call it like it it was it was a dance it was a symphony with my voice that i had to sort of create and put uh, you know put get this character to life and um, bahut hi naya experience and bahut hi naya experience to be very very honest like i would do this in a jiffy like over and over again because up it's i'm i feel like you uh, just got chal gaya i really want to be i really want to use uh, voice as, as as a tool so much more i'm sure the viewers are listening but also the premise is interesting because hamare desh mein to other than cricket the other national obsession is aapki shaadi nahi hui shaadi kab hogi shaadi ki root gayi and then of course the rituals you know like a mangli ke like i just said i got an sms saying aap marriage bureau se meri beti mangli ke zara unke liye ladka dhoond do yaar agar main dhoond sakti main apne liye pehle khud dhoond leti you know uh, so when they came to you on paper this story uh, ma'am i'll start with you first as you said you don't believe in buri nazar and i really don't think you are the mother like that jo apni beti ke piche pad jayegi ki uske upar buri nazar hai iski shaadi nahi ho rahi hai to aapke liye kaisa tha मुझे लगता है ये एक बहुत यूनिवर्सल प्रॉब्लम है कि हर एक माँ को लगता है कि इसकी बेटी की शादी क्यों नहीं हुई मेरी तो दैट इज समथिंग विच बींग मॉडर्न मदर और बींग मोर इमेजिपेटेड मदर आई वुड फील दैट आई डोंट रियली बिलीव इन इट बट इफ आई डिग अ लिटिल डीपर इन माई सेल्फ Uh, I also would say the same thing, you know. So it's not buri nazar ke wajah se nahi ho rahi. Wo main nahi manungi. Lekin ha, bhai, tum shaadi kyun nahi kar rahi ho? That is a question which I would definitely, uh, if I kuredo myself, I will realize that I will be asking the same question to my daughter. So basically, uh, it's a very really relatable uh, topic. I mean, there is not, uh, as you said very correctly, ke bhai. क्रिकेट के बाद शायद सबसे ज्यादा इसी के बारे में चर्चा होती है <laughs> शादियों के बारे में और अब मॉडर्न लाइफ में 
आजकल के बच्चे शादी क्यों नहीं करना चाहते वही मैं समझ नहीं पा रही बट नेवर माइंड वी आर नॉट गोट डिस्कस दैट बोथ ऑफ यूर लिस्ट ओके शादी कब करेंगे parents mind ke bhai agar shaadi ho gayi matlab you are together you have a companion you will be looked after you or you can look after so it's like a generally ha bhai ab settle ho gaye aisa mm-hmm. ek feeling jo hai na wo aap jab tak shaadi nahi karte tab tak parents ke dimag mein rehta hai ki aap unsettled ho you might be earning very well you might be on your so I... it is it is a it's something which is um, not really debatable and it is something which is uh, you have to live with it i agree with that i agree with yeah. that singles are single shame wo settle ho gaye wo itne unsettled apne settlement pe bhi hote hain ji exactly wo <laughs> 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 because I, sometimes i feel after marriage aap unsettled ho jate ho but that is apart from the point i will still say <laughs> shaadi karo yaar so that is my concept to it ke dekho jab maine jhela to sab jhelo yaar mat jao you be part of my misery yeah exactly aap batao aapko jab aaya tha character kuch aapki tarah hai thodi bahut kya bilkul nahi hai mujhe actually uh not really पर मैं relate kar payi thi jo inka mother daughter ka banter hai as i said like my mother doesn't talk about marriage uh, most people in my family doesn't talk about marriage really they used to a little bit but you know the, there was not there is it they don't feel that marriage is the be all and end all of things at all you know and i think being a bengali is i mean it's a blessing in disguise actually because all my life actually in my family a lot of women including my nani sisters and my masis and all many many people have not married and they are extremely independent they've had a career they have you know uh they've had a very very happy life um and it wasn't quite um believed in the family that you no know, you have to ma- marry in order to have a family life or you know settle down and things like that so wo kabhi baat chit utni hoti nahi hai and i'm i think i'm quite lucky and you know mam was also saying that you know you're very lucky lucky which is true because when i listen to all my other friends and you know how their parents or how their family uh it's quite a thing and uh, i'm quite lucky that it was never a thing but having said that my mother and i are constantly fighting about everything you know uh and that banter is you know like ye is time to kyun nahi hua wo kyun nahi hua is you know um lot of things like most mundane things right so it's a very mother daughter kind of banter uh kind of relationship which is what i related to and it's so uh real it feels so real how it's written in the show that i really loved it and i loved uh you know our whole give and take with ma'am you know how pallavi's character and the mother's character were you know and uh, the mother is also like she's at at some point she's you know pestering but she's also loving and she's also requesting and she's also scolding and you know there are many shades to it so that was really wonderful um yeah so i related to that but i don't think i'm anything like pallavi really शादी कर लो फिर बच्चा ऐसे बच्चा कर लूंगी पर शादी नहीं करूंगी तो अगर आप ठीक हो शायद बच्चे से तो मैं अभी कर देती हूँ शादी के बारे में बोलना बात करूंगी नहीं तो एंड एक्चुअली ऑनेस्टली एज आई एम ग्रोइंग ओल्ड आई एम लुकिंग अराउंड first of all everyone in my generation a little older a little younger whoever is married are not either happy in the marriage wants to leave the marriage or constantly complaining about the marriage or is divorced okay so unless ye sab bahane hai 
वो पीछे पढ़ने वाली बात तो मैं कर सकती हूँ always wanted to marry you know people i've dated and things like that but then practically thinking i'm like yeah i'm a bahut khush hu life mein abhi ab nahi hai matlab ye i mean also i believe you know marriage is something it's like janman mrityu agar jab hona hoga jiske sath hona hoga ho jayega main ha ya na kar ke kuch hoga nahi to agar hona likhan mein hai to ho jayega और मैं मैम को जरूर बुलाऊंगी मैम प्लीज आना पड़ेगा डोंट वरी बच्चे मैं पहले पहुंच जाऊंगी चिंता न कर बस बुरी नजर ऋतविक जो यहाँ बैठे हैं ना ऋतविक बताओ यार आपके तो जब सर्च हुआ ऋतु को बेचारे के पीछे पड़े रहते हैं कि शादी कब करोगे यार ऋतविक बताओ बहुत मेरी मॉम ने आई थिंक जिस दिन में बालिक हुआ था उस दिन से लेकर ये प्रॉब्लम उनके दिमाग में चल रही है जब से मैं अठारह साल का था और ये हर हर तीसरे दिन ये बात होती है घर में कि बेटे कब और मम्मी तो इतनी ड्रामेटिक है मेरे को लगता है मैं एक्टर मेरी माँ की वजह से बना हूँ इतनी ड्रामेटिक है कि वो वो बात करते से तीसरे मिनट में रो देंगी क्या है मेरा बच्चा तेरी शादी नहीं हो रही अरे मेरी माँ मतलब समझा करो लेकिन वो सम्मान होना चाहिए ना हाँ एग्जैक्टली अरे तुम लोग हाँ नहीं बोलोगे तो सम्मान कहाँ से आएगा बोलोगे तभी तो सम्मान आएगा अरे पहले से ना 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 करोगे तो कौन सम्मान आने वाला है चलो मैं ये ये अब सुप्रिया जी सामने मैंने हाँ कह दिया अब सामने वाले जितने उनके पास इतने ऑप्शन है ना आजकल मैं क्या बताऊँ आपको तो हम भी वन ऑफ ऑप्शन बन के रह जाते हैं तो इसीलिए ऐसा लगता है अब प्रॉब्लम यही है तुम लोगों की लाइफ में जो ये मॉडर्न लाइफ है उसमें तुम लोग ऑप्शंस बहुत रखते हो हाँ ये तुम्हारा प्रॉब्लम है मुझे इसमें ये पसंद है इसमें ये तुम लोग द्रौपदी हो तुम्हें पांच में ही मिलता है नो पांच के बगैर तुम्हें चलता नहीं है एक को झेल ले पांच नहीं चाहिए होगे कोई ना नहीं मैम जब जब एक के साथ प्रॉब्लम हो रही होगी ना बाय बाय मैं दूसरी बार जा रही हूँ कोई नहीं जा नहीं सकते वो एक और सुन, एक को झेलना बहुत प्रॉब्लम हो रही होगी जब पांचों के साथ प्रॉब्लम हो रही होगी तो अपनी सुप्रिया जी तो कृष्ण मंदिर नहीं नहीं सैटरडे संडे में अपने साथ अपने आप संडे एनी <laughs> you know i have a problem uh, that is with people around us mentally people around me the women will single shame you and all you know the happily married ones to social media mein mere bachche ne aaj ek aaya mere bachche ka report card diya tha so anyways that apart unki nazar nahi chahiye jaate jaate mujhe ye bata do are you the kind of loves reading a book or do you like plugging on a book i love audio books i love 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 audio books mai i i'm 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 mera attention span bahut it's like a 3 year old so i can't sit i can't sit down and read books but i love audio books like most of my books that i've actually uh, i've heard than uh, uh, than yeah i'm actually i, I like that what about you ma'am and supriya uh, sichani supriya i like reading yeah i'm much more of the reader so i'll read a lot and i enjoy that the most because i feel that my imagination goes wild and i can imagine something much better if i'm reading it so even when my scripts come to me i prefer reading a script because i can start thinking about my character much more if i'm reading it so i am i'm a 
absolute pure reader. So I have nothing to do with audio. I don't listen to audio except songs. I don't listen to audio. Totally relate to that similar generation as said. No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I absolutely agree with ma'am. Uh, I have to read. I think uh, reading just opens out the imagination. You know, you you. I mean, every book is different depending on the reader, right? Like the same book, we could be reading the same book, it'll be different for all of us, and that's the beauty of reading. And even with scripts, like I totally agree, I have to be able to see visually what's happening in the script when I'm reading it. Otherwise, I won't do the you know project because if I can't see it, it means that the director and the writer the writer especially hasn't been able to see it you know so the visual quality is very important in the written words but having said that i enjoy podcasts and uh, since i was going to do audible i started listening to audio books um, and i quite enjoy it uh, especially when i'm driving especially um, you know when i'm doing other activities especially uh, pandemic mein bahut jharu pocha karna padta tha to jharu pochar ke time pe bahut audio books sunti thi um <laughs> But otherwise, you know, I don't think reading will ever go out of fashion because uh, there is nothing like it. I agree with that. Thank you so much and uh, lovely chatting with you all. And ma'am, I hope the questions were different this May. I hope so. Absolutely, absolutely. Don't worry. I was very happy doing this interview. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.